What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Tall Podcast. And today, we are talking about the brand new Eagle. Eric Wilson, yes, he signed a one-year deal to the Philadelphia Eagles right when you thought free agency was over for the Philadelphia Eagles. We were too broke. We need to move on to the draft. We come in and get a diamond in the rough, another Vikings player who knows Jonathan Gannon, but hold up, I'm getting ahead of myself. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you know when I go live, drop some content, all that good stuff, and smash the like button for your boy. And for the simple fact that the Eagles keep finding ways to get some added players so we're not in full rebuild mode. Also, follow your boy on Twitter. That's where we talk Eagles football behind the YouTube scenes without the way. Let's get back to what we were talking about, and that's Eric Wilson. Yes. One year deal with the Philadelphia Eagles, $3.5 million he will receive for the one year deal. You're like, how are the Eagles finding the money? Anthony Harris, one year, $5 million deal. Ex Viking knows Jonathan Gannon. Now we got Eric Wilson who knows Jonathan Gannon. Not really. Jonathan Gannon was on that staff when Eric Wilson was a rookie. Remind you, he was an undrafted free agent rookie. Nobody gave him a shot. He played special teams, did a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but he finally got his chance last year. Vikings has some injuries. He steps in as a full-time starter in 2020, and he plays 96% of the defensive snaps. That's a guy who gets on the field and stays on the field. And in them 96% snaps, he had 122 total tackles. Eight of those tackles were for loss. He had three interceptions and three sacks. I mean, that's a lot better than any linebacker we had Cough, cough. I don't want to poo poo on Alex Singleton, who we did get back on the free agent exclusive tenure tag. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. So now you got Alex Singleton probably playing weak side linebacker, Eric Wilson, maybe TJ Edwards, Davion Taylor. I'm not sure who's going to take that next step when you're talking about the young guys, but we feel a need that we haven't really went out and tried to fill. I mean, last year we got Jatavius Brown, a guy who could have contributed. He wasn't going to be the star linebacker, but you know what happened. He retired. He said, I'm playing for the Eagles, that linebacking core. Jim Schwartz, my D coordinator, I'm retiring. I'm just kidding. But Eric Wilson's a solid player. Definitely stepped up in his one and only year that he got starter minutes. So you got to give a guy credit. Undrafted free agent works his way to being a starter. And a starter that's putting up pretty good numbers. Like I said, eight tackles for loss, three interceptions, three sacks. That is a productive season for your first time starting. And just like Anthony Harris, who came into the league undrafted, these guys are coming in for the Vikings and getting it done. And the one thing I've been hearing about Jonathan Gannon, whether it's Dave Spadaro saying it, everybody's saying it, they're saying he's an energy guy. He's a guy who gets people fired up, and who knows, he might be a head coach later down the line. Hopefully not anytime soon because we got some rebuilding to do. But what does this say for the draft? As we all know, we wanted to possibly invest in a second or third round, not really second, but a third round pick, one of our third round picks because we do have two third round picks in a linebacker and now it's like will they do that with getting Eric Wilson re-signing Alex Singleton having TJ Edwards and Davion Taylor a third round pick last year who like I said has all the potential in the world he just got to put the X and the O's together because he hasn't played much football who knows what they do but what I do know is the Eagles find a way to have everybody think we're going in full rebuild mode and it looks like they're trying to give Jalen Hurts the best chance to succeed. You bring in a veteran backup, kind of says we're not drafting a quarterback. You go out there and get some spots that you're shaky on on defense. And now we got the draft 22 or 20 some days away. Let's go. What a great move. Um, sorry, this is coming out a little bit late. I was on the road try to fly back home to get this video out. But yes, Eric Wilson, um, a couple years ago, just a special team guy. But he got his shot with the Vikings, made it something. And now he signs a one-year $3.5 million deal with the Eagles, who, like I said, you get that stud corner on defense. You fill some holes. 
the Eagles stay healthy, this team, I'm not saying, is going to go all the way. But it really is going to be in Jalen Hurts' hands, whether he takes that step that we think he can or he falls down. But this team might surprise a lot of people. The draft is next. Don't be surprised if we don't finagle something else. I'm just kidding. The Eagles did more than merrier with their cap situation, going from 50 plus negative down to zero to get Anthony Harris, Joe Flacco, Andrew Adams, and now Eric Wilson. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section when it comes to Eric Wilson, Jonathan Gannon. Coach these guys up. I'm ready for the young players who are coming in this draft, the young players from last draft, to start learning the game of football under a coaching staff that actually coaches people up. Listen, much love to Doug Peterson, Super Bowl champion, but for some reason, guys didn't learn under our toolage. When other places weren't the best, but were successful. That stops here with Nick Seriani and Jonathan Gannon. Until next time, y'all know what time it is. We out.